Hello everyone. Today I thought I would touch on a topic that comes up a lot in my personal life, and that is being at peace with the fact that not everyone will understand you or get where you're coming from. In this world, and I think in human nature, we desire to be liked, loved, and obviously to belong. It is a need, yes, but I think often it can become an obsession without us realizing it. I began realizing a lot of these things when I became more isolated in my younger years. Though I am introverted, it wasn't always a choice of mine. I went through some very hard things, as many people do. I lost people, places, and relationships, and eventually also became ill, as I've talked about before. I'm aware that there are people who will never fully approve of me or understand me, but I've learned it's okay. I've learned through the years that that isn't where my worth lies. I have been fortunate enough to meet people in my adult years who have truly been a good example to me and inspire me to this day. At the time when our friendships blossomed, I couldn't understand how someone could treat me better than I treated myself. It makes me sad to admit that, but it was a wake-up call for me. I realized I didn't know my worth as a person, and I didn't let people in because of that. The more we believe those lies, the more we push healthy relationships away. I feel that I'm understanding these things better now, and I'm not letting what people say or do control me anymore. I want to find freedom in the little things because in the end, I have nothing to prove. I encourage you to try letting go of whatever it is you need to this week. We often gain more when we recognize what we don't need to be carrying. I'm not an expert at this and I still let things weigh me down and I struggle to remember the truth. But I think just like anything we practice regularly, it will become more and more like second nature as long as we are consistent. I often have to remind myself daily that I need to let go of things I cannot control. Living in a body that is sick and has limits has taught me that I have to let go of the expectations of myself that are simply unrealistic. Let other people worry about food fads or the latest drama in the world. Slow living requires that we prioritize what we know is best for us, and that often involves looking like an outsider to the quote-unquote normal world. I enjoy a lot of things that might be either considered childish or, on the flip side, hobbies that a grandma would partake in. I don't care either way, as long as it brings me joy in the end. I hope you can open your heart to what brings you joy and true fulfillment. I encourage you to write and journal about these things. You might be surprised by what you truly value and how it may differ from the world. I wish you a good day or night and I'll see you again soon. Good night. <laughs>